Hello everyone, uh, thank you for your support every day. Uh, today I want to talk about this book, John Lennon's Message from Heaven. It was a spiritual interview uh, on John Lennon. And uh, from now on, uh, I'm, I wanna try to create short videos like this uh, as, as much as I can, so you will be updated with Master Kawa's teachings. So let's begin. So have you read this book? John Lennon's message. Uh, I wanted to, I first chose this book uh, to do this, create a video on this because um, we are going to start spreading this book. And there are three main points that I thought um, we can think about. So first of all, uh, about the time when this spiritual message was conducted, uh, there are three parts uh, in this book, but in when one of about the time when this was conducted, um, the main vocalist of Queen, the group Queen, uh, he's, his spiritual message was also conducted and we found out that the main vocalist, Freddie Mar Mercury, he is not back in heaven. Even if he passed away, his spirit is being lost. He doesn't know where to go or what to do right now. He's very confused. Then we thought, okay, so what's the difference between Freddie Mercury and John Lennon? Uh, in this book, in the preface, Mastoka says, I'm not exact exactly sure what's the difference, what the difference is between Queen, who is now very popular with the movie Bohemian Rhapsody, and the Beatles. Why is the soul of the main vocalist of Queen lost after death, while John Lennon, the main vocalist of the Beatles, is back in a higher dimensional world in heaven, even though he was assassinated? Uh, there was something else in John besides purely rebellion against society, perhaps a noble spirit. But anyhow, I hope you you will read through this book, Niho Okawa. So what was the difference and what kind of noble spirits did John Lennon have? And he even said that he didn't recognize this uh, while he was living on this earth, but the, the, the shocking truth was John Lennon is a branch spirit of Jesus Christ. On page 23 of this book, he said, I am probably a branch spirit of his soul, meaning uh, Jesus Christ's soul. So yeah, a branch spirit of Jesus Christ. And putting aside of that fact, first of all, Jesus Christ is a ninth dimensional being. So you might think, well, don't high spirits only come to this world, you know, once every 3000 years. But uh, John Lennon said on page 38, he said, Well, so I'm a branch spirit of Jesus, but recently the age is transforming rapidly. We, the ninth dimensional spirits, are being reborn more frequently, frequently and n nourishing this world. Frequently, very frequent, frequently. So not the ninth dimensional spirits are being reborn to this world and appearing in various fields. So, be, as he said, because this world is changing so fast, even Jesus Christ or Confucius, they send their branch soul to this world. Master Kawa said the same thing in this book, The Science of Happiness, on page 22. I mean, not exactly the same thing, but um, I wanted to refer one part about um, how Master Kawa mentioned about the de developmental stages of happy science. He said, the first stage of our movement will bring about dramatic changes in the world of religion. And the second stage, our movement will bring radical change 
throughout the whole of society, just as many people have risen to build the foundation of nations throughout history, many warriors of light will start their work to create utopia and will reform everything in a fundamental way. Polit politics, economics, education, the arts, literature, and business. So you never know. So the you know, the more enlightenment they have, the more influence they should be able to have. As Master Okawa, he already has such a huge influ influence all over the world, especially in Japan. And because Master Okawa is such a high being, El Kantare, he's not, not only trying to change, uh, bring the change to the religious field, but also politics, economics, and arts you know, music and movie industries. So in order to support this sacred mission, John Lennon, um, part of Jesus Christ, was on this earth trying to deliver the message of God through his um, ability or character. So that was the first point. Jesus Christ is a branch soul of... Hmm? Did I, sorry, John Lennon is a branch soul of Jesus Christ and he was trying to deliver love through music. The second point, so what he's trying to do when he was on this earth was he thought every country should have freedom and if they have true freedom, they should be able to welcome any kind of musics or arts or like rock musics. For instance, so what does does what did he say? Page sixty seven. Sixty seven. He said, uh, "We are fighting against this, meaning uh, communist commun communism. You are also fighting this as a religion, but so is Christianity." Their countries also need to be changed so that music and the arts can come in. How can there be so many mobile phones and smartphones and yet there is no freedom? That's why we have to rock the place somehow. So he was trying to deliver the freedom through his music. And he thinks Happy Science and John Lennon are essentially were trying to reach the same goal. So page 61, he said, So even if the methods are different, we are, in truth, doing the same things. You are, um, so for instance, the music, Power to the People, if this song starts to get played in Beijing, then Xi Jinping's regime will be close to the end. There is no mistaking it. Even without it, if your movie, The Last of the Universe Part 1, uh, was shown in Beijing, then the destruction of that regime will be near. Ryuho Okawa and I are doing the same things in the end. Our mission is to spread Alcantara's teachings and as Masukawa has said, the communist party or communism is not aligned with God's will. So um, I think one of the reasons that we are going to start or we've started spreading this book is to spread uh, through John Lennon's messages, we need to spread um, the freedom, the importance of freedom and love through the art as well. So the third point that I wanted to talk about or what uh, John Lennon said in this book is that, um, as you may know it, um, when he was interviewed, when John Lennon was uh, still living on this earth, he was once interviewed by Evening Standard uh, paper and he said Christianity will be destroyed soon and Beatles are more f 
popular than Jesus Christ and something like that. But then、um, he said that was actually Jesus Christ himself who was talking through John Lennon's、uh, John Lennon. So, how, what, so what did John Lennon say in this book? I wanted to share. So, to,、uh, page 248, he said, Some people might not know about what happened. I said, Christianity will go, and we are more popular than Jesus now on some occasion. And John Lennon said, But What I said was actually my true feelings. Well, although I didn't realize when I was alive that my soul was connected to Jesus, those words were Jesus' real feelings f- flowing through me. And also on page 249, he said, In Jesus' eyes, the church was corrupted to the core, it was over. In his view, and this was what Jesus basically wanted to say, and his feelings became mixed into my words. They got into my channel and I spoke them, so Christianity will go, were actually the words of Jesus. And, but as you know,、uh, in the song, the very popular song Imagine, in the lyrics, it says, Imagine there's no heaven, and just like that. And some people think that, oh, Jesus Christ didn't believe in heaven or religions, he was against it. Listen to Imagine, the song Imagine. But John Lennon said in this interview to page 247, he said, The true message in the song Imagine. He said, I was saying an ideal future can be created through the power of the mind, which is a religious meaning, a teaching religious leaders would be preaching on. But people in the real world did not realize this meaning and thought I was commanding a clear anti war campaign. So he, it wasn't his intention. To、um, talk negative about the religion, but he was just trying to, he was saying an ideal future can be created through the power of the mind. That was the John Lennon's true intention when he created or he wrote, when he wrote Imagine. So if you, if you want to、uh, know more about The, his true intention, please、um, read this spiritual message. So,、um, in the end, in order to truly change this world, what we can learn from this book is that, or what we can learn through his message is that we need the, the mindset of rock in order to change the world. What does that mean? Master Okawa explained in this、uh, book in the afterword. He said, In order to change the world, I need the spirit of rock in my actions. The message for happy science are clear change the world, don't stay as just one of the religions in Japan. I must think harder and harder. And invent Uncle Rock. Life is surprisingly tough, and our workbook of problems continues. So, the spirit of rock is needed nowadays. And I think、um, if you look at Master Kao's life itself, it's a very,、um, he has the spirit of rock because he's a religious, he's a god. and You know, preaching the spiritual、uh, teachings, but also at the same time, he creates movies, writes songs, and he himself, you know, sings the songs to write or to deliver to us.、Um, 
lastly, I want to conclude this uh, video by sharing this sentence on page 278. Um, John Lennon said, Sometimes success can explode once, but these are mainly short-lived. So, if you really want to succeed, it is better to create one wave after another wave like water gradually surging in. I think this is important. Um, you know, as you know, Masokawa has been giving us so many books, songs, music, and lectures, and each one of them are very sacred, but also each one of them are small wave that just, you know, keep coming and coming and coming and to change this world to a better and in the end our goal is to is everyone's happiness not only this world but also the other world so um, I couldn't cover everything but those were the points first Jesus Christ I mean John Lennon is a branch soul of Jesus Christ and he was trying to deliver the mind of freedom and love through his musics and that's why he was able to go back to ninth dimension. And we need the spirit of rock to push forward our missionary work. And uh, in the end, I think one of the things we can do is to spread this spiritual work together with the election. It seems like the United States is being uh, not united, divided. So let's spread John Lennon's message of the spirit of love and peace. We can reach out to uh, as many people as possible and spread God's love, God's words, Alcantara's words through John Lennon's words. Thank you. So uh, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope to improve this so I don't talk too much. Uh, like today um, but if you have any comments feedback I would appreciate that and I hope oh, please feel free to spread this video if you would like to and I hope to see you soon thank you